Welcome to Playing With Science. I'm Samantha from Twinkle and I'm really excited to be showing you another Playing With Science video today. Playing With Science is the best science video on YouTube, in my opinion. Not only do I do a small dance with excitement at the experiment we're going to do in today's video, but also do an experiment I've never done before, so that's really cool. But the reason it's the best is because we're playing with science, so we're just having some fun, playing around seeing what we can find out, just like scientists do. Sometimes we're not really sure, and that's why it's play. It's also all about science, and science is all about the world around us, making observations about things you can see and do all around you, which is why when you're a home educator, playing with science is one of the best subjects you can do, because you can do it at home, and you can actually spend the time doing the investigations. If a children's interested in something, or a child is interested in something, you can just keep going with that experiment. You don't have to stop when the bell goes. You can try out lots of different things and you don't have to follow the curriculum. You can do experiments that you come up with yourself. And I'm gonna show you some really nice ways you can do that today. Science is amazing because it's all about the world around us. And scientists spend lots of time observing the world around us to learn more about it and ways we can progress. Think about Newton, for example. He saw an apple falling from the tree. Even though gravity was already there, that made him think further about it. And he wrote books all about how the solar system and all the universe is held together through gravity, just from one observation to start off all his thinking. So always looking carefully at the world around us. And science is so important to our lives every day. The screen you're watching now is made up of all these little pixels and that's all been developed by science. Even the electricity to power whatever device you're using to watch this video will be powered somehow using science. How we get our electricity, for example, from nuclear power stations, from solar power and sustainable engineering, all again, is to do with science. Some scientists one day might have just been having a drink with a few sweets and accidentally dropped some in. Ah! <laughs> Well, that gave me a bit of a mess to clear up, so make sure if you're going to try this one, do do it outside. Now, scientists would observe that that's happened and they could look further and do more experiments to try and work out why. And they think they have worked out why, and it's to do with the way the sweet has lots of tiny little bumps all over it called nucleation sites. And when you drop those into the cola, it releases the carbon dioxide stored inside all in one big bubble fountain. This is the same if sometimes you have scratches on the bottom of glass, you might see you get bubbles in those areas. So this is a really fun one to try at home and there is a twinkle worksheet called Cola Super Fountain, which you can use to follow. And we're gonna make some superheroes, but we're also gonna have lots of fun playing around with science and seeing different ways we can do this experiment and get really into being proper scientists and finding out what else we can learn from it. A cola super fountain is a great experiment if you haven't tried it out before. Let's have a look how to do it. So you need your bottle, and because it's a superhero, we're gonna make it a little badge to go on the front. So I'm just gonna, so I've made it, so I've made a triangle, my superhero, and I'm just gonna put the, some letters on it. So you can work out what my letters are for. I'm literally just going to glue those on now. So we've got playing with science. Ray superhero, I hope you're ready. So we've got playing with science. I mean, these are cake as well, so let's just make a cake before. I've done, let's just cut out a triangle and then I'm just going to put a circle at the top. A circle at the top, and I can put that on my superhero so he's ready to go. Now you can just drop the sweets 
straight in the top or you can make yourself a little launching tube so if you just get uh, a roll or just some cardboard and then cut that down then you can wrap that around so make it really tight and just have it sellotape on there to make it nice and tight and then what you want to do is get a bamboo skewer and just push that in from one side to the other so in from one side to the other this will stop your sweets going in until you're ready for launch so let's load up our superhero and we're ready to go Well, that was super exciting. So to play around with science, we know that works, but I'm gonna try different sweets. I have no idea at all if this is gonna work or not, but let's give it a go and see what happens and have some fun playing with science. So I'm just gonna change the sweets I've got. So I've got a few of each type. So I've just got three, so I've got the same number and then very carefully, so I don't want too many of the bubbles to come out already. I'm just going to carefully put a little bit in each of my test tubes I've got here. I'm make a lot of mess. As you can see, a lot of the bubbles are coming out as I pour it. So I've got to be very careful as I do this. You can see it's already bubbling away. So a little bit in each one. You can probably make less mess than me. Okay, so let's see what happens. First one, we've got just the normal sweets. Those are fizzing quite a bit. Can you see that? They are fizzing away madly there. Now this would be a really good experiment. You could time how long they fizz for. So you can actually listen to the bubbles. It's making a really nice noise. Right, I don't know if any of these other ones are going to work. You might like to try some other sweets too and see what you can find out. So next we've got these little sweets here. Ah, oh, now they did fizz, but definitely not for as long because they've already stopped fizzing. Right, next ones we've got are some little bottle shaped sweets. That's been a good fizz too still think this one is the winner though and we've got some hard boiled sweets so we're going to give those a go oh my goodness those are definitely making it fizz and i actually think they have beaten the other sweets although they were quite a lot bigger than them and then lastly i've got these little round ones which have actually done nothing so <laughs> so some sweets might actually work better. That is really fascinating. So what did we change? Well, we changed the types of sweets we put in. And what did we learn? Well, some sweets do still make it go fizzy, but other ones don't actually work at all. Perhaps you might like to try this one at home. Is there anything else we could change? What about changing the drink? because lots of drinks are fizzy. And I wonder if any of those will work better or worse. Which one will be the best? I've got all these different drinks. I'm gonna turn them into superheroes and get them ready for launch. I'll see you outside and let's see how we get on changing the drink we use. Here are all our different superheroes ready for launch. Perhaps you might like to think about which one is going to go fast. 
highest. Let's see how they get on. We changed the type of fizzy drink we were dropping our sweets into. And what did we learn? Well, we learned that actually cola does work the best, but not necessarily diet cola. Both cola and diet cola worked, which was really fascinating. However, lemonade and the fizzy water didn't work so well, and neither did the fizzy orange. Now, the fizzy orange was in a different bottle, so this could have made a difference. And that's another experiment you could look at. Does bottle shape make a difference to how the bubbles come out? We have got one last bottle we tried out and I've never tried this before. These drinks are normally quite fizzy and have got lots of bubbles in. We did buy the bottle specially for the experiment, however. So don't just use any one that you might find at home because you never know you could be saving it for a special occasion. Let's see how this one got on. Well, slightly disappointing, it wasn't as high as the cola, but it did still produce a few bubbles. I wonder if a different brand might work differently too. That's another thing you could change. Let's have a think about all the things we could change in this experiment for you to play with science at home. You could change the type of sweets. You could change the type of drinks. You could just change how many sweets you put in. You could change the size of the bottle. You could even try different launchers, so putting holes in different things to see if they made a difference. And then see what you can find out from the experiment. What did you change? What did you learn? And have lots of fun playing with science, because that's what scientists do. They spend a long time trying out lots of different things, doing loads of observations, until they find the answers to questions all about the universe and everything around the world. Thank you so much for watching, and we look forward to the next Play With Science video.